Welcome back, everybody. Got a new one for you today. Well, it's kind of an old one, but we're making it new. Todd Alushki. If you go back 11 months right here, February of last year, I did this recipe. I called it Halushki. Of course, I'm originally from Western Pennsylvania. I'm 100% Polish, actually 150% Polish. Haha, <laughs> go back and watch that video if you want the details. Halushki is a Polish, a Slovak staple in Western Pennsylvania. At least it was when I grew up back in the day. So we're gonna start out with some Polish sausage. I'm in college. Colorado, all I can find is Hillshire Farms. So if you're out on the East Coast and you've got a Polish butcher shop, have at it. Beef, Polska kielbasa. Growing up, we called it kielbasi. Some people call it kielbasa. This is pre-cooked, it's smoked. Maiden Voyage of the brand new 36 inch Pro Series. Go back to my previous video. If you wanna see me break it down, you gotta check it out. Beautiful, brand new at Walmart and walmart.com. I have some avocado oil. I did my initial seasoning this morning. Then I cooked a bunch of onions just to get the seasoning spread out around the griddle top. Down with my Polish sausage. Gonna need a little more avocado avocado oil. Figured we'll use diced onion just like they do in traditional halushki. I think traditional halushki just uses the staple. So Polish sausage, onions, pasta, cabbage, things that were easy to get, cheap to get, things that people could store in their pantry all winter long. This is gonna be the Todd quick version. So we're going with that pre-sliced angel hair coleslaw mix. Cabbage down, not a staple in the original halushki, but I think I needed something orange. So I thought carrot might give it a nice contrast. And this is where I decided to do tataloni meets tatalushki, the Rana ready pasta. We're using the fettuccine, of course, growing up, my mother would use bow tie pasta, but I think the fettuccine is gonna work really nice. You might have to break it up when you open it up out of the package. You could always cook your own pasta at home, but I'm in that parking lot demo, that griddle more tour mode. So pasta, rip it open, and then dump it on the griddle. Mix it up. And we're gonna get the oils from the sausage and the onions mixed with the pasta. Simple seasoning with salt, black pepper, and a touch of crushed red pepper if you want just a little bit of spice. A little bit of butter towards the end. I have about a half stick of butter. We're almost done, so I have some curly leaf parsley. That's the kind of parsley we used growing up. We didn't know what flat leaf parsley was. It was always curly parsley at our house. A little bit of parsley towards the end. We'll give it a last mix. A shout out to Jess Farron and your mother. Every time I post these, people ask me where they can buy one. So this was a gift. Jess Farron, follow her on Instagram. She's on Facebook. She has the weekly show, Meatless Mondays. Her mother, Jan, makes these and gave this to me as a gift on the tour a couple years ago. So, whew, it's beautiful and she makes all sorts of shapes and sizes. Here we go, time to plate it up. One order of Tadalushki. Once again, veering from the original recipe. I have some sour cream and I put a little bit of water in here. So it's almost like crema. And then another dusting of that curly parsley as well. Take a look at that. I'm calling it Tadalushki. It's simple, it's hearty, it's filling. Filling and hearty, are those the same thing? Let's grab a little Todd sized portion. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We'll make that one look pretty as well. Ooh, gotta go in there, get some of that Polish sausage. Oh, here we go, Tadalushki, let's give it a try. So good, it's comfort food from my youth. If you grew up out on the East Coast, Northeast, maybe you have somebody in your family of Polish heritage or Slovak, Heritage, you're familiar with halushki, but I call it Todd halushki, and that's the easiest way to do it if you're tailgating or if you're in a Walmart 
parking lot. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hey, let me show you a couple of cool new things before we go. Blackstone just released these, an eight count pack of leveling shims. These are incredible. Our patio was built on a slope so we didn't get water into the foundation of our house. So I put them on the wheels of my prep car, griddle and pizza oven. They fit every Blackstone product that has a wheel. They're really heavy duty, really small package. There's eight of these. You can use them on the back porch on the patio like I did or put them in your vehicle, take them camping with you. And this is another great new accessory kit. It just came out. Blackstone's egg and omelet ring package. So it has two of those brand new double egg rings and two brand new, never before seen, huge silicone omelet molds. And last but not least, a brand new griddle scoop, a smaller size. You might've seen this one in years gone past. It's huge, right? It's like a shovel, but check this out. A new half size, a smaller size. You're picking up home fries, you're picking up stir fry. Might be a nice option for you. So all of those brand new accessories and the 36 inch Pro Series, all Walmart and Walmart.com. One last look at the Todd Alushki. Please watch my other show. Let's give it a try over on Blackstone social media. Stay tuned. It's going to be a really, really exciting year. All kind of things coming down the pike, but I can't tell you quite yet. Until next time, this is Todd. Praise the Lord and pass the Todd Alushki. I think last year in the video I said, You bet your kabooski I just made some Todd Alushki.